M0FXP, welcome back to my videos on the G106. So we've got a few gadgets to show you here. The G106 is connected to the Micro PA50 amplifier and it works great, by the way, I've got the latest firmware on there. The ATU100 Pro version, which is the same as the ATU100M antenna tuner, it just has CW practice. But this is excellent, it's got a built-in battery, battery lasts forever, so you get very portable, both of these devices very portable, in fact all of them are, and for configuration you've got a patch lead that goes from the antenna connector on the G106, and I'll have to show you that goes straight to the amplifier first, to the TRX, then we've got the antenna on the amplifier, on the PA50, another patch lead that goes to the ATU100, on the right hand side there to the in see that in then the antenna goes out so I get I get tongue twisted and confused on that as well and what you'll find you do need the latest firmware on the micro PA PA 50 because if you don't get the latest firmware it will keep saying it's got a bad SWR so go onto the Facebook page and I have made a video loading that firmware so let's just come away from these gentlemen chatting and unfortunately I'm gonna whistle because it's quick and easy um, and sometimes you'll see that the PA50 will go into error but generally it works so power wise with the new firmware on the G106 press the the VFO knob and turn to menu number four because you go right and left to press it does time out four there and version you'll see i'm running version 1.3 firmware you do need that to adjust the power so if you press again and now go to menu 5 you've now got the ability to change the power so menu 5 tx power and we're in mid power which is you know two or three watts i'm not going to do five i don't want to damage the the amplifier which really doesn't want more than five watts put through it but that's plenty at two now watch here what happens now Mic zero, Ooh, let's just uh, plug the microphone in. No, that's not the reason, it's because I'm still in menu, save. So when you're in a menu, you can't change anything. So here goes, let's make sure no one there. Mic zero, Fox X3 Bravo. Now look there, we're going up to 50, nearly 50 watts there. Mic zero, Fox X3 Bravo, and the SWR is 1.5 there. M0 FXB, calling for a contact, CQ, CQ, Secure 40 meters, mic zero, Fox X-ray Bravo. Of course, it fluctuates when you're doing voice, but if you're doing CW or Digi mode, it's going to stay uh, more steady. So I just want to show you that the PA50 is working really well. Let's just go find and see if we can get an actual contact. Quite a few people chatting. To change the steps, hold down the band and then you get finer steps. Oh. <laughs> Well, it sounds great if you ask me for you know for a budget set I don't know why they haven't added noise reduction but that's probably my only complaint because that I think that would be nice to have that you can go from speaker microphone which I think is quite handy to speaker in the radio up and down with your bands change your mode all very easy to get to yes it does AM hold down for preamp 
Don't really need it, really. Up on a hill, you can use headphones as well. Everything plugs into the actual microphone. There's a little 3.5 jack there. And then you've got your sub menu. There's five of them. You press the big knob. There's number one. And then you've got your selections along the bottom. Very intuitive, very easy to do the firmware. I've done a video on that. And it's version 1.3. Press, go to menu 4, version, you'll see the version there. It's all, it's all been improved for WSJTX and that TX power adjustment on number 5. Which wasn't there before, look. But medium's fine if you're going to use an amplifier. Amplifiers are about 120, the tuner 70, the radio 200. What I, the main thing I like about it is it's such a portable little chunk. You know, it's the main thing. If someone said, well, what do you like about this set? There's so many. I would say it's a real portable little lump of radio. You're not going to worry too much. I am going to 3D print a stand for it, just for the sake of it. I don't really need to, but I'm going to, because uh, I think it will be fun. And that's going to be my next video. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. I'll show you the... The little microphone speaker connector. It's just there. It's quite a small. Look, it's tiny. If you press it, it'll mute it because there's no mic. I've just told it to use the speaker mic, but it's another way. It's another way of muting, really. It's a shame we couldn't have a contact. be so nice to get a, an audio check oh. you can really change large increments And as you notice, it's showing the A and the B band there, on screen. And to select A and B, you just press, turn to menu number one, A and B, VFO memory. Memory right, you just press memory right, save. See, the conditions are starting to pick up now. It's a nice looking set. I'm going to put the 7100 icon next to it. Digi mode. And yeah, you've got these in the way of the knob, but the, the thumb, you know, the thumb hole works really well. <laughs> I think it's a good set myself for the money. Bye for now.